The National Institutes of Health Information Technology Acquisition and Assessment Center wants to inform and inspire interested members of the federal agency and IT contracting community. Today we'll discuss Acquisition 360, a new initiative proffered by the administration only weeks ago. It's about to streamline federal IT acquisitions through greater transparency and communication. Coming up, my guest from OMB and I will explore the reactions so far and how it could change business as usual in Washington. Hello, I'm Todd Schwartzrock, and welcome to NITAC Now, brought to you from the Department of Health and Human Services broadcast studios here in Washington, D.C. On March 18th, OFPP Administrator Ann Rugg issued a memorandum to all agency chief acquisition officers, instituting a set of post-award surveys designed to assess each agency's prowess in conducting IT procurements. Joining me to talk about this is Porter Glock, the Office of Federal Procurement Policy's point man for Acquisition 360. Thanks for joining the webcast. Thanks, Todd. So, Porter, many organizations have already made use of concepts of customer satisfaction surveys, 360 degree evaluations. What's new? What is the administration hoping to accomplish with this initiative? As you said, many agencies have used customer satisfaction metrics, surveys throughout their acquisition process. Acquisition 360 is the first transaction based standard tool across the federal government. Uh, in the past, agencies imp implemented customer satisfaction questions for their procurement operation or their customers, but it's often varied between departments and even within, across the federal government, it's different everywhere. There's no standardization. So Acquisition 360 provides a standard set of questions that agencies will ask the vendor, the procurement operation, and the program office on, transact on procurement transactions so they can get immediate feedback on how they did throughout the process. Very comprehensive program. What strikes me is that the federal government, the largest buyer of health IT and IT procurements period, is reaching out to the contractor community and saying, look, grade us, help us increase the efficiency of what we're trying to do. Can you expand on that? Yeah, it's, I think it's a big step going forward in, in IT procurement across the board in the federal government. Uh, it's no coincidence that the first iteration of Acquisition 360 focuses on IT procurements generally. Agencies are required to, to survey a percentage or a number of their top IT procurements. Uh, in our personal lives, we're very familiar with rate my, rate my service at a restaurant. How do we do on the, on the receipt? They'll have a survey link. Federal government's fallen behind a little bit on this. We have our PEEPER system for past performance evaluations, but we haven't gotten a lot of across-the-board feedback on the pre-award phase where a lot of the requirements are written and a lot of our, uh, procure, our vendors provide their solutions. If we have bad requirements, we're gonna get bad results go going forward. So we wanna look at the pre-award phase and that's what Acquisition 360 focuses to do. You're talking about a comprehensive effort for stakeholder engagement. I know the NITAC, others are constantly looking at ways to make those processes more efficient. How do you collect this data? How do you distribute this data and put it in the right hands at the right time? What are some of the things that the administration is looking at and how can you uh, make use of this to make this program and improve what is being done in the federal IT procurement community? Yeah, I think GWAC holders are gonna be particularly interested, as you said, in Acquisition 360. There's actually two questions in the survey for COs that ask them why they, if they use the GWAC, why do they use it? And uh, that'll help agencies such as NAH or GSA who offer a lot of contracts across the federal government to better understand their CEO's needs and why they're responding to certain vehicles. If the agencies know that, they can offer better solutions going forward. And I think our hope generally with Acquisition 360 is that the program managers, the uh, procurement operations, know where they need to focus their resources, where we can improve. Do we need more industry outreach in the form of uh, vendor days? Uh, do we need uh, our, more time for RFPs, for responses? We hope that Acquisition 360 gives the offices the tools to make the choices to, to respond better to their agency's mission needs. There's a responsibility here that will make this program more reliable, more effective, and actually produce the results we're looking for. Not long ago, March 18th, Ann posted this on her blog. Successful acquisitions depend on a clear understanding of the market's capabilities and dynamics. And this requires early and meaningful engagement with industry and the application of strong management practices within the agency. So Anne is pointing to the bi-directional responsibility of communication. Can you expand on that? Sure. 
communication is nothing new to OFPP. In the past few years, we've released two MythBusters memo, MythBusting memos that encourage procurement engagement with industry early and often. In the past, there was seeming, seemingly a wall and people were afraid to talk. Well, talk is good. We want to communicate to get better results. Uh, Acquisition 360 provides another tool to allow for that engagement. And again, it focuses on the pre-award side of things. Uh, the standardization should be huge in allowing departments to see where they need to better engage and where communication can improve. Uh, and the idea wasn't new to OFPP. It came from responses, industry responses, to our first open dialogue in doing business with the federal government, which was held last year. It was an online dialogue where ideas were submitted and voted on by vendors in, in the general community, procurement community. And one thing that was heard over and over again was a lack of engagement in the pre-award phase. You know, if vendors have a solution they want to offer and they can't offer it, well, we want to know why and how we can be better served, such as the commercial marketplace. We want to get the best solutions to our, to our needs. And I think engaging with the industry early and often through things like the Action 360 surveys will help us get there. A comprehensive and collaborative effort, to be sure. Thank you for sharing your insights. Thanks. Thank you for being with us. We hope you'll come back and uh, share with us the progress that this uh, program is producing. So I hope our viewers have gained helpful insight from this webcast. If you'd like to know more about Acquisition 360, go to the website fedgovcontract.com slash omb hyphen toc dot htm. As always, you can find NITAC on our website, nitac.nih.gov. Or you can call us toll free at 1 888 773 6542. For Porter and the entire NITAC team, I hope you'll join me soon for another episode of NITAC Now.